Peace, peace, peace to all of God. I'll take the flame. I'll take the flame. I'll take the flame. (laughs) Peace to all of God. Peace to all of God. Oh my goodness. Joy is abounding in this moment, family. What's good? What is good? What is good? Ivana Louise. What's up, sis? What's good? All right, now that we got the family pulling in, let's go ahead and put the burning bush back. Yes, Lord. What's good? What's good? Hey, family, we're about to have a commerce conversation today. We're going to be a little bit more talking about the materials. We're going to talk about finances. We're going to be talking about energy. We're going to be talking about money. What's up, Turner JR? So let me go ahead and how how do I turn off the the flames, Lord? I'm on fire. I'm burning up over here. (laughs) I guess I can't turn the flames off. Oh, there it goes. Bet. All right, cool. Now I can toast down a little bit. I was about to toast... (laughs) All right, cool, family. So we're going to be discussing a conversation. The conversation is about consumers and producers. And I'll tell you, I was hot. That's, I swear them flames burned me up. Look at my... <laughs> but this is going to be a master teaching. And it's going to be saved. It's going to be posted on YouTube. And if you don't have a piece of paper or a pen, let me get mine ready so that you can have yours. Because I'm going to remember. I'm going to know. And show you so that you remember. Super excited all about it too. So family, let's jump right into this. We're going to be discussing consumer and producer. Now, if you start looking into the world today, there's a lot of exchange going on. And this dynamic right here assists us in doing that. So I want to give thanks for these technologies, the internets, and all of this. All right? Because without this technology, I wouldn't be there to share this message. Without this technology at this point, I wouldn't have a group, a tribe of people who actually understand the qualities of spirit and are interested in becoming more like the source. I wouldn't be able to have this. So we got to actually slow down and give thanks. All right. So boom, with that, let's start discussing family, consumer and producer. Now family, as we come into this world, I got to say this first, because I'm going to talk about money, but every single time I start talking, the spirit just want to, we have to know that there's only one door into this world and that door is called women. And we just got to know that. And as we're in our mother's wombs, we learn the best how to consume. We learn the best. Why? Because we consume her thoughts. We learn the best because we consume her emotions. We learn the best because we consume her food, what she's digesting. That's what supplies us. So to consume, we know how to do that. We can leave consumer at everybody knows what to do with their mother's nipple. We can leave it at that. But when we grow and we're of age and we're of stature, how do we behave in the same dynamic? Well, if we don't know how to produce, then we're only going to do what we know, and that is consume. The dynamic of consumption in this matrix world relies on commerce because now you don't have all that you need now. See, your mother was giving you all that she had because she was everything. Now that you're out of her body, you got to go to the grocery store to feed yourself But when you go to the grocery store, guess where you're going? Where you're going to a producer to get what you need. So how do you now observe yourself if the only thing that you do is consume? Well, the the invitation is to start to learn how to become a producer. Because there's only two sides of this exchange in commerce. It's consumer or producer. So for an individual to have a gift, a talent, a skill, a way of sharing, a way of giving, creating a product or anything like that. Uh, creating t-shirts, creating clothes, whatever that carries your vibration into the world, that is producing. But they don't teach you that. They definitely do not teach you that. And why don't they teach you that? Because they intend to keep you on the other side of the table. Now, when we start observing these tables, we're going to be talking about the table of commerce, but we're not going to talk about the table of family. We're not going to talk about the table of other things because the table of commerce is particular. It's like an exchange. Now, right now, you're probably observing this video right now. And now you're, you're sitting at a table as well because there's one side. I am the table in this. And I am the one that allows you to sit on the other side. But without me knowing my table, my value, you can't even sit here. You catch that? Without me knowing my value and sharing that and making it available, you couldn't even sit there to receive this. So the quality of becoming a producer is learning how to become your table. Now, you're not one table. 
I got a couple of tables. We can come on here and talk about consciousness. We can talk about religion. We can talk about limited thinking. We can talk about mental slavery. We can talk about a whole bunch of things over here, right? But when I'm done having this conversation, I'm going to slide over there to another table and I'm going to be talking about spirulina, chlorella, food, inflammation, arthritis, joint pain, knee damage, all that kind of stuff, because that's a different type of table. It's a different type of dynamic of information. Then I'm going to slide over to this other table over there, and I'm going to be talking about MacBook Pros, iPhone 11s, Pros, Macs, 13s, LCDs, all that other kind of shit. And then I'm going to come back over here and talk to y'all about spirit. All right? But the only way I'm able to do this is because I built the foundation of what? Being able to now produce. Okay? But the aspect of production only comes from knowing how. Man, know thyself. God, know thyself. Because the aspect of production only comes from the knowledge. Now, I'm going to leave this master teaching online. Y'all can record and go back through this. It's going to be long. But y'all can also go outside and talk to the trees. They'll tell you all about it. I'll explain what the trees say in a couple seconds. But I want to zoom in a little bit more on the producer aspect. School teaches us a lot of information. I went to school. I went to high school. I went to middle school. I went to college. I studied cybersecurity. And I went to my first job, which was at Sony doing data forensics and uh, what the fuck I do over there? Digital forensics, data forensics, all that kind of stuff. And I was cool there. I was getting well paid, all that kind of shit. But guess what I was losing at the same time? I was losing my soul every day. I was losing my soul every day. I can't speak for everybody. Some people like money more than they like the joy they feel in their heart. Most, some people like money more than the way they, they you know, I, I couldn't fucking do it. So after a year, I had to leave. But I was like, Lord, source God, what is the next step here? Because... And I went to Costa Rica and rediscovered life all over again. And that's a whole nother conversation. But I brought that up because I consumed information in order to actually acquire what they say is called money in order to acquire what we need, which is called produce. You understand? So what it is, is why did not I just learn about produce if all I wanted was food in the world? Well, I don't want only food in the world. So I don't, might not need to be a producer of food because I don't know if that's the only thing that's important to me. I know I need to be fed, though. I ain't starving, though. Shit, if you coming over here, we got smoothies in the morning. We got oats in the eat. We got, we got, we got pasta salads. We got, we not starving. But we're going to need some conscious insight, though. Let me tell you a story. I was sitting in church a couple, 10 years ago or something like that. What? I'm like, I'm a quarter now. It's like eight years ago. Eight years ago, I was sitting in church and I was thirsty. I've been in church my whole life. And I was sitting there just listening, sitting behind the camera because that's what I was doing all the time managing the computers and all the technology. And I was just like, I'm starving here. I'm starving. Y'all not hungry? And I started noticing the more I try to share the aspect of y'all don't need, y'all, y'all, this is good for y'all. I started getting a lot of friction. What is that happening? What, what happening is I'm consuming there and I'm not producing and I'm not happy with what I'm, per- what I'm paying my attention for. So that was a spark for me to realize you got to become a producer, source. Source. Source, ain't the source a source of production? What the source create? You wake up one day feeling drained? The source funds you all this energy every day. You start the day with so much energy. Where are you putting it? Oh, let me show you what's going on. This is how the system works. The system shows you to sell all of that for some paper to go buy the shit that you really need that actually grows from everywhere. So all the joy, all the inspiration, all of the goodness that really come from your soul, you're not putting into anything. You just go fucking stand behind the cash register and that's all. And no shade. I was sitting behind the cash register. I'm not, I'm not washing nobody else's clothes on this internet but my own. You feel me? But the quality observation remains the same. If you don't produce, your ass left to consume. So now let's observe the tables again because in order for you to consume, you must be absent of knowledge. So the effort to keep you in absence of knowledge is high. So of course they're going to open up all these schools and teach nothing about how to interact and trade. They're going to teach you all the details about all the mitochondria and all this other shit, but not know how to go about using this shit in today. But you can use this shit in four years when you apply for your job and tell them that you've done some shit that you've never done. <sighs> Let me go ahead and take a sip of this smoothie so I could just... Because we're going in today. So, when we have an understanding of how to move from our, our move ourselves to the producer dynamic, is called learning. That's why I love learning. Nobody can teach me how to learn. 
Nobody can teach me how to learn and nobody has to push me to go learn some shit. I don't come on here talking to y'all about consciousness, manifestation, visualization, all this other stuff because I'm just fucking bored somewhere. I want this. I'm looking for this. Now that I have it, what do you think I'm going to do with it? Oh, what? now that I have it, what do you think I'm going to do with it? Do you think I'm going to stuff it under my mattress somewhere? No, I'm bored now. I need to give it up. I need y'all to have it now. Okay? So... We are already default consumers. I invite you, if you're taking notes, create a little timetable. Consumer on one side, producer on the other side. And start to observe yourself and see, start on the producer side. Because to consume, we know how to do that. We consume in air right now, just sitting on this live. We all connected in a divine sense of spirit right now, just breathing. So talk more so on the paper. Write down the things that you produce. You might produce art. You might produce dance. Which is movement. That's energy and motion. You know, people can't move like you. That's some real shit. Like, you must understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might make food. Whatever it is that you produce, you want to have that. Because those are your gifts, talents, abilities. You can just, you know what I'm saying? That just that's, that just comes up. That just, oh, that's like the water in the morning. Oh, sing this whole song in the C note. In the B. Oh, that's just like sipping this water. Just like sipping this hot tea right here. Oh, fix this iPhone 11 13 Pro Max camera LCD. Oh, that's just, that's how it is for me. Off the cut, I'm just like, oh, okay. So you got to find those things that you naturally produce. And you got to tune into those things. Because if you don't tune into those things, these are like basically, these are like your, your vouchers. You come into the world with all the power already, all the energy, all the insight, all the awareness. And you got to just start harnessing it. It's all about... Using the seed into its fruit. Now, I know we're talking about consumer and producer, but I want you to investigate the seed that you've been given called your gift. I want you to investigate the seed called your talent. I want you to investigate that. Investigate that and and find your own way of expressing it. Find your own way of sharing it and get to that space. Because there's some dancers nowadays, they just dance on a particular song and getting cut checks. That's their gift, talents, and abilities at play right there. Because they're actually producing from it. Because they did not listen to the noise from the world that said, hey, just come over here and get a job. Hey, just come over here and just, you know. We trying to we trying to actually win in the world with opinions from other people when God has a whole plan called purpose, gift and ability. And we out there trying to line resumes, trying to get fucking twelve dollars. Trying to line resumes. That's one of the most, I, I, nah, I did it. So I'm not talking about nobody. I like to tell you, I wash my own clothes on the internet because it helps other people get clean too. So the quality of understanding here is like the society is not teaching us in that dynamic. They would never do that. They only know how to remake everything. Now let's just see which culture they get it from next. That's really the only question. But until the culture themselves produce, they only going to sell us back to ourself. Hear that really good. Hear that really good. Because that's facts. Like. So now, you might be questioning, concerned, like, how do you get on the other side of the table? You have to become the table. If you are going to a restaurant and somebody's going to be sitting at that table, you must be the restaurant. You must know all the ingredients that are coming in today. You must know the, the temperature should need to be cooked at. If you are a nail specialist, you do nails, like, I don't have my nails done. I don't do nails. I, 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 I'm a male like, but if I were to begin in my nails, I guess where I'll be going to the nail salon. Why? Because they have built up the structure and they're producing what I'm looking for. So whatever you like the most, what if you produced it? What if you produced it? See, I started asking God, like, how does nature create? This is exactly what it does. Nature creates from itself. Now, I'm going to tell you all what the trees told me. Here comes Elisa here on Earth. What's up? This is what the trees said. Now, the trees spoke directly to this context. I'm not going to go into all that I learned from the trees. That's a lot of talking. But I'm going to speak toward in this same conversation. They speak, they, they speak directly towards foundation. What is the foundation? Well, the foundation is the energy and motion. So we observe the root system and we see that the root system actually acquires water from underneath. Where does it find the water? From underneath. But the water circulates from above to beneath. Because as the water evaporates, it goes up. You don't see it, though. But as it accumulates, you see it come back down, though. So the cycle of of cyclical sharing is always happening. And this is what the trees illustrate. 
but a particular tree shows a particular harnessing of the energy that's always flowing. Mango tree. So you look at a mango tree and what does it do? It starts on the ground. It gathers its materials. It builds a foundation. As it builds a foundation, it then what? Branches out. Branches. And then it does what? It leaves. Then where? Comes next. The fruit comes next. So basically illustrating before you're actually able to produce anything, you have to have a foundation of the understanding of the energy that's in motion in your regard, whatever that area of focus is, whatever you, whatever you do, you, whatever you do is your foundation. The knowledge is within. You have that already. So this is where you produce from. You feel me? I hope that fully brings insight to you in regards to the tree element and where that fits in. I don't want to stay in there too long because we might start talking about family structures and all these other kind of things. But the understanding here is very pure. It's really, you've already been given, but now it's to bring forward. But the issue with society is society trains you to stay on one side of the table, which is the consumer side of the table. And until you actually know how, you cannot produce because to produce is to know how. You have a phone in your hand right now. Maybe it's an iPhone. Maybe it's an Android. Whatever it is, it's sending and receiving electrical signals right now. They're called Wi-Fi. And I'm sure you don't know what that looks like because it's invisible. <laughs> so we're harnessing invisible polarities already. So what about yours? What about yours that's always consistently, continually flowing from God? What about yours? Because that's the connection. The phone that we're looking at right now is a reflection of God speaking to himself. Truly, because without a phone, without anyone having a phone anywhere in the world, you can still go down and sit down and receive reception from the higher self. That just shows you the quality of, of connectivity that's already present before we have these uh, examples of them. But someone said, hmm, what if we could put this metal together with these chips, with this, with this iron ore, with this, with this iron and this, with these materials that we got from Africa, with these materials that we got from all these places and put together something like this, this phone. Now this phone has a function now. See, we took materials, foundation, we put them together, accumulated them to a dynamic and now what is it doing? Now it has its own function right now. You see that? You see that? So every one of us, every single, every single person that taps into this stream, you have something you've already been given. You have materials that you already have, quality of cosmic materials. And you have them in all different kinds of ways, all different dynamics, all different ranges. Whether it's in the way that you speak, maybe it's in the way that you share, maybe it's the way that you teach, maybe you make art, maybe you make clothes. Whatever you do, you find a way to express the divine qualities of God within you through your gifts, talents, and abilities. And this is being a producer. All right? So this should... Clear, crystal clear make it so so crystal clear about where you sit on this table of consumer and producer all right because right now y'all sitting in the consumer side but it's only because i sat with my qualities of thought so that i could bring them down and then produce them now when we're producing with ideas it's a little bit different than producing with corn or seeds or something like that why because the dynamic of pruning the dynamic of watering the dynamic of digging a hole all of that stuff happens in the mind. When you prepare your dreams and your goals, you write them down. That's basically what you're doing. You're preparing the soil. You're like, okay, let's make some. We're going to need at least three pots for the cabbage over there. And then that's all that you're doing when you're planning and preparing your ideas, your plans, your goals, whatever you're doing. That's all you're doing. You're doing the spiritual work. It's happening here and it's happening on a piece of paper. The piece of paper is reflecting how it's happening. So we, as we start to tune into our producer mentality, we start to become what? Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. From self-sufficiency, an individual is able to actually give others what they need. Then in turn, receive what they find. Dollars. But it doesn't come from the aspect of going to find and find and seek a job. Now, of course, I've worked many jobs. I don't have nothing against jobs. In a minute, I might be hiring for some jobs. But at the same dynamic is only because I've, tr I've trained myself more so towards this producer mentality towards this producer mentality. So, of course, I'm still going to go to buy these um, beans and buy these lentils and all of that because I'm not producing that. But come over here to my website because I am selling MacBooks. I got four over there. I got an iPad Pro and an iPhone XR already on sale. 
If y'all want to shop in the other, other dynamics, I'm selling CMOS, Spirulina, Harataki. What y'all want? Why? Because I decided I needed to do for myself. Oh, thank you, Ty Intellect. Woo! Ooh, came in. Oh, my gosh. Came in with the clutch. Claim it with the clutch. See, if we had this knowledge. Oh, oh, my gosh. I got to give y'all this because I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to keep it to myself. I just saw how bloodline families. Now, I don't know the family's dynamic. I don't know them intuitively and like detail oriented. But you observe that families in the bloodline, they've excluded themselves in a way that like they've made themselves noticeable by bloodline families. Right. They do for self. As oneself, as oneself, it's a family's money that they, that how they, how they, how they go about their dealings. But when it comes to people like myself, and I'm speaking about me, I'm not talking about nobody. When it comes to me, my family, everybody wants to have their own money. Everybody want to find the way to get their own bag. Everybody want to get rich on their own name. But yet those exact those exact people who've actually copied our dynamic are showing us what we're not doing. Are showing us exactly what we're not doing. And then we want to go here and be like, oh, well, I'm self-made. Well, what about your mom? It's cool you self-made. I'm cool self-made. God made however you like. I'm cool. What about your mom, though? Now, if she's still living in the same house, you haven't made shit. Now, that's not saying that everybody has to go about the way and do that the same way. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, how far has your blessing stretched? If we understand this knowledge, knowledge of self, I'm telling y'all, look, I know what it's like to walk around with people who's living in daydreams. I know it. That's why I'm talking and teaching. I know it. I had to, I was allergic myself. I'm not understanding why I'm placing this dynamic and these folks are missing the mark on certain things. But I know for sure that there's a quality of observation in the timeline that looks like everyone is attuned. And I saw a piece of it. I was talking to my mother and we were talking about names and she was telling me about some names that she, someone, someone, someone named their daughter after somebody. And she was like, oh, you named after their auntie because they love their auntie's skills and some, 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 right? And it, it taught me the wisdom of that, of re reclaiming our names and giving our names forward to our own so that the name is spoken. It recycles the same energy because we're not saying somebody else's name now. We're not saying some other culture now. We're not saying, you know what I'm saying? Like name is so important. And that's why I did a video I shared with y'all my spiritual dynamic, how name came in for me. But when we start tuning in, right? I started noticing that the only difference between my awareness and where her awareness is, is our information. We started looking at etymology and she was understanding the etymology of particular words that she probably never seen before. Has never probably uncovered the definition that sits under. So she didn't have that insight. But I started to realize, look, this is going to be a long journey for some and it's going to be quick for others. But our job is to hold the frequency, get the knowledge and be the example so that there's a place to go. There's a place to, to there's like a shelter to go to. There's like a place that you can get this knowledge, there's a place that you can get this information. So we, that's our business to become an example because the example needs to be seen in order to be relived. This is the reason why we so focus on these spiritual texts because the spiritual, spiritual texts record the example. So we being an example is about being a loud example in this world because there's so much misinformation. There's so many missed ways of observation. There's so many um, unintelligent forms of observation right now that degrade the thinking. So you have to be standing at the door and be like, okay, how am I going to use the best things that life has on the internet, on YouTube, on this, and actually create a con con cohesive life with myself? Or else if not, if I'm not creating it, then I'm consuming what somebody else made. Because there's not too many ways now. So look, there's not certain areas that we can go inside. We, oh, well, I'm going to start producing corn. Well, it's not possible right now, probably, because you might not have the money to do this and do that and land and all of that. So you got to find the things that you can produce. They're trying to sell these berries for $3 now. What's, whose business trying to come in and compete with them? Your business competing on with yourself. So if you can produce ideas on how to make music, you don't need to talk to none of these folks. You don't need to go to none of these places. You need to be talking to people about what you do. You need to be doing what you do and showing people how you do it and charging them to learn. That's what you should. That's your that's one of your bags. Now, I'm not going to define nobody to no limitations. So that's one of them. How about that? 
but whatever your skills and abilities are, you have to find that those ways of bringing them forward, those ways of bringing them forward and finding how to serve other people with them. So I'm making this video because I know for a fact that without the knowledge of production, our the world needs to have this here in a space where they can observe it in a defined way that's very, very understand, understandable. Because without a business, you are looking for a job. If you're not selling no products, you're not having no profit margins, you're looking for a pay grade. You can get both, that's cool. But don't sleep on one side of the table. Don't be the person that only lives as a consumer. Because I was there, I'm not talking about nobody, and I had to get a job when I started. I didn't know what I was doing anyways. I worked at Staples, I worked at a movie theater, before I even got to start working at higher places in corporate America like Sony. So it's not really about where, it's about what you're putting in. It's about how are you contributing. Even the places I worked, I was still producing knowledge. I could do cybersecurity now. I just choose not to because it doesn't it doesn't actually activate me. Now I can activate my brain and do it. Yeah, that's easy, but it's not, you know what I'm saying? Like teaching, sharing qualities of thought, you feel me? So boom, that's the aspect right there, family. And now, to wrap this up. Okay. When we start to actually activate these ideas and become producers, it's going to be the most evident to those who want to keep us in limitation. It's going to be the most evident. They're going to let themselves be known. When you say, I'm actually going to start and sell my shit now, or I'm going to start building my this, that the, the distraction is going to be so much more known than ever before. Because the distraction is looking to make sure that you stay in the same space. The moment you start shaking the shit, then it's like, oh, the devil has to wake up today. Because <laughs> God walking. Yes, Lord. Because God walking. Yes, Lord. You dig? So that's the understanding. All right. So when we harness the production, we find ourselves truly being the creators that we are. Now, I want to add this to this video before I jump off of here, family. When we start observing where these materials come from for all the phones and computers. Everybody who's on here probably has an iPhone or Android. When we start observing where these, where these materials come from. They actually come from Africa because that's the source of all. And guess what they do with these materials? Well, they buy them for dirt cheap. They buy them for dirt cheap and they buy them in their un, um, their unmanufactured state. So they buy them in their raw material state. Why is that? Because the raw materials is all of it. Before you are able to make the steel that holds the binding for the iPhone to be set together, you got to mine the ores. You understand? Now, that's not exactly where the dynamic is happening. It's more so happening on the chips and the data sets, the dynamics that they use to make the processors. But it's still the observation of the same thing. Because if you're not, cons if you're not producing with the raw materials that you have, they come from underneath. They come up from like this. It's the same observation. So I have to make sure that part is a part of this video because it's going to be a master teaching that's going to assist in a lot of different dynamics. Not only just assisting a person in being more um, invited to partake in their own lives, as a producer, but also to show up for themselves and see where they're consuming and where they can learn to produce for themselves. All right. So with that being said, family, I'm about to tune into these comments. Man, I know I was running. I know I was running. I was like, look, uh, this is going to be long. I'm not going to look at none of these comments until I'm down. But uh, let's see what's tapping in. OK, so let's see what the trees told you. This is a beautiful share, brother. So powerful. Most definitely Elisa here on Earth. Give thanks for you to be here. Thank you for being here. Um, Ivana Louise, shout out to you, Captorius, 19th Galaxy. Hey, tap in with me. Let me know if y'all still online. Um, I'm that's about to jump off of here in a minute, though, because I want to make sure to save this in this condensed form. And this this really how I refine myself. Like, this is one of the ways in which I uh, produce thoughts. You understand? But the thoughts I produce are organic in a dynamic where the individuals who listen to them can find the centerpiece of what I'm saying and bring the seat up on their own. So with that being said, show yourself the ways in which you're going to produce in this life. Show yourself the ways you're going to produce in February. Show yourself the ways you're, you're going to produce this day. What are you going to produce today? Produce a smile. Produce a post. Produce something. Just to start training and showing yourself that I am a creator as well. And I'm here to make. I'm here to make more wisdom to share with the world. I'm here to make more sense for the senseless walking around today. You know, you're here to do something. So if you're not um, sharing, you're more so looking for someone who is. So be the one who's sharing. 
by actually finding their gifts, developing them, building the foundation as the trees do, supporting the, supporting the foundation on the, the centerpiece, and then branching out into the aspects of your dynamic and fruiting into the lives of other people. I'm fruiting into people's lives right now. This is the seed of God, all whole and complete. They told, they told me to go to school to learn how to do this and how to do... I went to school, but I didn't learn much. I had to learn from life. Life showed me more than school could ever teach. And this, it just happens to be just like that. It just happens to be just like that. All praise to the Most High. I give thanks for everybody who tuned into this live. And I always understand that the higher self of us is already going to organize and um, break down this information as it fits perfectly into our lives. And assisting us in moving a higher frequency, move, assisting us in being more about our, our, our source self business, our source God business as we walk around the world today. So with that being said, y'all, I'm going to tune out because I see that y'all have done with the comments. And I'm going to save this whole and complete, and it's going to be on YouTube for all of me. Yes, I. All right, cool. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all, family. This is Goddamn on the Screen, consumer versus producer. This is a master teaching, and we're going to have this again. Except next time we have this, we're going to have some observations. We're going to have some stories and some examples to dive and to delve into. So with that being said, stay attuned, stay at peace, and I'll see y'all there. Wholeness.